Hi everyone, I'm Tony Mori, and I'm visiting Ragouche Winery in the Stag's Leap district. Let's visit together. Ragouche Winery's origins go back to 1932, when Gaetano Ragouche purchased land in the Stag's Leap district of Napa and started making wine. Jim Ragushi, his grandson, established Ragushi Winery in 1995 on the same land and started selling wine in June of 1998. We have with us Ragushi Winery manager Neil Basin. Um, there are many wineries in Napa Valley um, and I feel that Ragushi is different for a number of reasons. Um, firstly, uh, I, I would think of our heritage and Ragushi, the Ragushi family, have been farming in Napa Valley for well over 100 years. Uh, we've owned the, the ranch uh, that, that you are visiting today um, for over 77 years. We bought it in 1932. So um, for us, winemaking is really a, um, a passion that we see through the arms or through the eyes of a farmer first. Um, we, we believe that um, you know, 85 to 90 percent of the quality of the wine that we make is through the, the farming practices that we, um, that we use in the vineyards. Um, so we're farmers first and then we're winemakers afterwards. In making wine, um, every time that we, uh, we visit the vineyards, every time that we um, alter the canopy of the, of the vines. Every time we change the dynamics of how that vine grows, it changes how, how the vine itself grows, um, how the fruit clusters on the vine develop, and then ultimately how the flavors in the skin of the fruit develops as well. Um, and that then translates into, into the wine. Uh, we have a, a tremendous winemaker called Charles Hendricks, and he's been with Ragushi since we started making wine. But um, he will tell you that unless we make, um, unless we're good farmers and we produce good fruit, he can't make good wine from poor fruit. So it, again, it go for us. It goes back to those farming that kind of rural uh, roots of of where the family came. from. We make a, a number of wines, uh, all from fruit grown off the ranch here. Um, but I've chosen two for you guys uh, and for Tony to, to, to try today. Um, the first is a, um, a Chardonnay. Um, and our Chardonnay style, I, I like to think, is very Burgundian in style. So it's very true to, um, true, true to its roots uh, in Burgundy in France. And in that sense, it's, it's light and crisp. Um, it has nice citrus notes on the palate um, and, and a very easy uh, pairing wine with food. Um, and then at the opposite end of the scale, <clears throat> I've, uh, I've got a bottle of uh, Angelo's Vineyard um, uh, Hillside Cabernet Sauvignon. And um, we have 160 acres of planted vineyard here at Ragushi. And this vineyard represents just four acres. It's on the hillside above the ranch, above us, um, produces very small, very dense, extremely concentrated fruit. And uh, I, I find it a, a powerhouse of a Cabernet Sauvignon um, from, from Napa Valley. Unblended, um, and it's a wine that we only make in what we feel are the better years. And this is our 2006 release. Um, and that was the sixth vintage that we've made in 14 years. And I'm excited to hear what Tony thinks of the wine.
Wine lovers of the world, welcome to Ragushi Winery. My name's Neil Basin, and I'm lucky enough to run hospitality here at Ragushi. Next time you visit the valley, please look us up. We're on the Silverado Trail, and we'd love to see you. How did you like the Ragushi Winery with its rich history? I hope you enjoyed it. Okay, I'll see you guys next time.